Hey guys. To all the people who have the splenic flexor syndrome out there, you probably know that um, there's a lack of information. Um, there's a lack of information on the internet, number one, for such a serious uh, syndrome. And um, I, I don't know, you, you would call it a syndrome slash disease because it comes out of nowhere. Um, and it affects people, for instance, right? It can, <clears throat> it can hap happen to someone for absolutely no reason. Or there can be a trauma or there can be um, adhesions. So in my case, it was adhesions and it was obvious in my case. Um, and I also had surgery in the splenic flexure area as well as other places. I'm making this video to let you know that I've, um, I, I have a website for another, another disease that I have of my spine, a uh, very painful disease, but um, I, I'm using that platform. So there's something permanent. Uh, I didn't want to put it on YouTube. I'd rather put it at a, at a dot com type thing. And, um, <clears throat> So on my on my platform, I'm uh, I have a long article that I did. So um, I think it will help you. Excuse me, my throat. Just give me a second. <clears throat> That's like a dist I have like a dystonic throat disorder. But um, now I'm making this video as I'm halfway through my eating, which you probably understand how I feel right now. Um, this is a horrible disease. I just wanted to let you know that um, that I've put a long and very descriptive article on this website that should help you out thoroughly, I think. I don't really think there's anything missing. It's probably 10 pages long, and uh, you may not associate with my experience, but you'll be able to fit into it for sure. And um, I guess I am a pioneer when it comes to making videos about this because let's face it, there's none out there. I don't think anything of myself. I'm just saying there's no other people doing videos out there. And, uh, and I say that in my article, you know, if you have this, if you have this in its intractable form, please make a video. Just go out and make one video Put it up so other people can learn your experience. Think of how valuable that's going to be for other people. <clears throat> so I just wanted to let you know it's there. And um, through a lot of experience and, and you know, going, going from not being able to go to the bathroom to being able to have daily movements. And, and I, as I moved through my story as, you know, how I developed it, you know, how was I before? How did I develop it? What I went through, all the things I had to do, and at the end, the things that I do to keep myself well. Um, I think that will really help you. If you're, um, you know what, as I'm like breathless here, I know that some of that has to do with the splenic flexure syndrome and eating. I mean, uh, the symptoms with this can vary so widely and it's it's so confusing to have this disease in the first place. I don't know like if you want to call it a disease, um, but it is a process. It comes out of nowhere. Um, it's not IBS. This is like, this is more painful than Crohn's and, and colitis from what I've read. So many people with this get exploratory surgery because they think they're having a heart attack or bowel death. That's what the emergency physicians think. They rush you into emerge, uh, sorry, into surgery, such stuff like that. So um, I guess I'll just finish off with this. That if you have pain, okay, now there are people, and I, I was in this train of thought too, and it could be true that People are wondering if they have the hepatic flexure syndrome. So they're worried that their stool from their hepatic side, the right side, right? So your 
uh, you have your ascending colon, right? And, the, and then it goes into the hepatic flexure. And um, people are wondering if that's not moving. For the most part, I would say, I would say don't worry about that. It's the splenic flexure. If your pain is coming from, is arising from mainly the left side, okay? If it's coming from mainly the left side, um, and it's pushing into the side, it's going up into the rib, and you can even feel it refer out to your back, you know, the likelihood is is that, right, that you're dealing with the splenic flexure syndrome. And this is cycle after cycle after cycle. There's a difference between um, get, people having to go to eMERGE because they have a crisis with their splenic flexure. They've eaten a lot of chocolate, They've eaten a lot of, you know, they drank a lot of alcohol and uh, they woke up and they had that in there and they, they were so panicked. That's just, they have one episode and they have to go to the hospital. We get this over and over and over again. So I'm going to leave my website in the description box so you can see it. And um, so it'll be there uh, permanently. That was my point. Um, that's my point. I hope it helps you guys. So. Um, I don't know, I guess uh, in the title of this, I'll put a date to let you know this is the latest splenic flexure syndrome uh, video uh, that I've made. <clears throat> you know, I make a lot of different videos. I have a whole, I don't know, I have probably, uh, I'm not going to say how many channels, I have several channels, uh, YouTube channels. And I'll tell you something, um, I have difficulty speaking. It's like... Um, it's a different muscle, but the same type of thing as throat uh, dystonia. So they're both spasmodic. And um, But the real trouble that I have in my videos when I'm doing them is because of the splenic flexure syndrome. Um, it's so hard to stay in place. It's always riding up so high. And, uh, you know, like I'll start a video sometimes. I never know what I'm going to be like. I have to plan out when I'm going to make my video. I can't just, I can't, well, I can, but I'm not going to make a video like three quarters into eating or like right when I'm at the end of my meal. No, because that's why I tell people it changes your personality. Literally, you're restless, you're irritable, even agitated. That's what this does to you. So you have to get treatment. Look at my article. It's very thorough. Um, I think you'll get an idea of what this is. I, I look at this scientifically. Anyways, it's there. So um, please, uh, if you know other people with it, pass it on. God bless.